So this is Brian coming to you from Bucharest, Romania still. Got my new place, it's right back over there somewhere. And uh, got this beautiful building. I open my windows and I see this whole park here. Loving it. And uh, we just finished two five day events. One, one five day event that had more women in it than men where we were teaching the men to connect to the women. And I wanna talk about the insight that come, came from that. One in particular, there's a lot of insights that came from it. Um, and I want to talk about one in particular that I think is so important for you to realize. And I think when you start to look at meeting women in a whole different paradigm, these core elements that make it easy to meet women, make it easy to get dates. Matter of fact, the women start chasing you and you start working from this perspective, it can change your life. And that's what I saw at this event. So we're going to dive into that right away. I'm going to go into it a little deeper. Before I do, I'm going to take a moment to enjoy this gorgeous building, old world building here. Um, <laughs> there's so much history here. It's so beautiful. From 500 year old buildings to 2000 year old Roman ruins. I love this town. And uh, filled with beautiful women, by the way. But before we get started, I want to invite you to like, subscribe, and share. And definitely comment uh, in this video uh, after it's done. Definitely comment because I'm really curious about your comments on this one. It's a uh, it's just a way I started looking at things after I went to a party, after I taught for five days. It all kind of just changed in the way I looked at things just a little bit, but I think that little bit is huge. Now, what does that change? I stopped looking at the idea of going out to meet women to get them on a date. I stopped that whole idea. I said, guys, some of the guys were in there and they were, they were learning to meet. They were in front of these beautiful women they're learning to meet women and they're saying, yeah, I got to go out and get phone numbers. I got to get them on a date. I don't, I don't have any dates and, and I need to figure that out. And I started to think about it and I was like, and I was watching them interact with the women and it hit me that you're, you're interacting with the women. If you guys know any revealing or releasing from this place of want, you want the phone number, you want the date, you want the instant date, you want to get something out of them. You want to get them somewhere, right? and I'm trying to get the light just right here and uh and i noticed there was a lot of wanting in them and so what i said was first off is stop trying to get something out of them just stop for a few minutes you got all these beautiful women in the room with you right now drop into your body like i talk about heart walk vulnerability walk let them in drop into your masculine which is literally dropping the embodied part of your masculine not a not an idea concept but literally feel the masculine parts of your body, the outside of your legs, your back, relax into it, open your heart and receive her in and just enjoy her for a moment. Find curiosity, find appreciation. Some, I mean, you see this on the best podcasters in the world. I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Like when I watch Joe Rogan, how he just gets curious about people and he pulls them open with real authentic embodied curiosity, right? So I'm, I was sitting there telling him, I'm like, Stop trying to get anything out of these women. Just enjoy them right now. They're right in front of you. And they're like, well, I need to go out and get phone numbers so I can get dates. And my thought was, don't think that way. Go out to have a first date now. Like literally the moment you stop a woman and you start talking to her or a friend introduces you to a woman or you bump into a woman at the coffee shop, if you take a moment and apply the principles and let her in, open your heart, smile, be curious, and just let her into your heart, let her into your stomach, and really feel her, be present with her, that's the first date. I want you to think of it that way. That moment right there is you sitting there going, in your mind, you don't have to say it out loud, who are you? You're interesting. There's uh, something about you. Do I like you? I'm curious about you. Why am I curious about you? You know, and that's the moment it starts. That might be a 10 second interaction. That might be a two minute interaction. That might be a three minute interaction. But if you do that piece really well and you ground down, you open your heart and you feel the human being in front of you and you see her beauty, you even access your turn on like, like the great seducers, James Dean, Marlon Brando, Elvis, you know, people like that would do. Something is gonna happen, maybe not with every woman, but with a lot of women. 
they're going to feel you appreciating them, enjoying them, being curious about them. And some of them aren't going to be single. And it's just going to be that. It's going to be this beautiful moment where you had a little moment for three or four minutes with a beautiful woman talking, sharing at the coffee shop. And if one is single and she's really enjoying you, doesn't it make sense that she would be naturally interested in hanging out again, talking more? There's this idea in the dating community that I got to use these techniques to get a number. I got to figure out how to get a number out of this woman. I got to figure out how not to get rejected. I got to figure out how to set something up for the future. I got to figure out how to get her out today. And you're already out with her. You're standing here in the street talking to her now. Have a moment. And then the natural progression will be, hey, let's go over to this coffee shop over here and sit down and have an interaction. Let's continue. Let me buy you a coffee. It just, it almost feels rude not to. And when we talk about the heart walks and vulnerability walks and you really let people in, and it, it does, it feels literally like a, like a vacuum of, of like, like literally when you're in your masculine, it feels like, and that as she's in her feminine, it feels like the energy is coming into you. It doesn't feel like it goes that way. It feels like it kind of goes this way. And when you do that and you let somebody in and she starts to seduce you back, she starts to flirt back. In other words, she starts to toss her hair and she starts to lean in and she starts to tell you, say things to let you know she's single. It almost seems rude not to ask her to sit down and have a coffee. It almost seems weird to ignore her. I was talking to Landon about this. Some of you might know Landon. He, he works with me. And he was at the grocery store and we were applying these basic principles of just letting people in. And he started to do it, really ground his energy, can let energy flow through him. And this woman came up next to him at the grocery store. And she was in her feminine, she was shopping, and she was right next to him. And he felt this energy. And we said it was like, it was different. It was like it was pulling. And he said, I almost felt like I had to talk to her. Like I could feel her feeling me and I had to start a conversation. And he started a conversation and said they had a beautiful moment together. She blushed, he blushed, he had a beautiful time. She spoke English, which a lot of women here do. And, and they had this little interaction that was perfect. She was married, but she was so happy, he said, when she left, that it made him happy. You know, um, and it was this perfect little moment. I was out at a party with Sam Perion. Some of you might know who he is. He's an alabaster girl, famous uh, from the old pickup community. Um, he's married now, and, and I saw the same thing. When I'm out at the party and I'm flirting, for lack of a better term, or having fun, letting people in, one person after another, just flowing, I meet this beautiful woman. And what does she do? She immediately gives me her phone number. I didn't even ask for it. She's like, we gotta hang out. I love your energy. And you have such a great energy. She was quite forward about it, you know? Um, and then the more I focused on really enjoying and being curious about the human being in front of me, the more they let me know when they're single or they're not single or what the situation is. I see it in Zan himself. Like when he's talking to people, he's really just letting people in. He's enjoying people, right? He's really curious about people. And so they get curious about him. They want to come to his events. They want to be part of part of his social circle, right? I see it in Hans, Zan's old partner. When he's out there and I see it with his wife. His wife is amazing in him and they're a beautiful couple. But I see him talking to people and I see people really just enjoy talking to him, connecting with him. And there's this sense they want to lean in. They, they want a greater experience of this person in front of them, right? And that's the difference. I think that the average guy is trying to do something to a woman to get the date in the future so he can seduce her. Think about that. I'm trying to do something now to get the date. That's like a technique. It's a mental gymnastics to get something in the future when you could just go up and say hi, and that's the first date. And we'll see where it goes. Maybe she's not single, maybe she is, but. The first date implies I'm stopping right now to have a moment with you. And that's it. And maybe you get that little oxytocin hit in your body and then she gets the oxytocin hit, this little endorphin pop, and you both feel the 
the tingles and the buzzes that kind of pulls you two together because that's literally what happens, right? That's the embodiment piece. That's what I'm talking about. Activate that right away. Um, I met a new guy, new friend. His name is Frederico. He was a, a gigolo his whole life. And he's a retired gigolo. And he was incredibly vulnerable too. He would just open his heart and he pull you right in. He'd receive you right in the moment. And uh, I thought he was awesome. I had a great time with him. He reminded me of those old world seducers like James Dean and Robert Redford and, you know, the old black and white films that they were in and Marlon Brando. And, or I got some videos of Elvis, one with uh, Frank Sinatra. It's really cool. I'll have to do a, a video on those one time, sometime where I break some of those, uh, those clips down because they're amazing. But they're all got this vulnerable quality, not a vulnerable needy, a vulnerable strong where they... They get embarrassed, and they look up at you, and they own their embarrassment. They get bashful, they get curious, they get turned on, and they let you see it all over their face because they're, they're comfortable letting you see all their emotions because they're not afraid to get it rejected. Matter of fact, when they get rejected, they just laugh. They, they think it's cute. They think it's funny. And because of this, women get pulled into all these emotions, all these feelings, all these tingles, all this warmth, and they get curious. And... And they want more of it. They want to hang out with it more. And so do you, to be honest. So do I. Every time that happens, I love it too. As, as much or more than them sometimes. And this is what I'm noticing with the people I'm hanging out with. They're all doing this. All these naturals or guys that are good. They're not trying to figure out what to, how to do something to a woman. They're figuring out how to enjoy, to be with, to play with, to dance with her right now in this moment and that's what i want to get across you can literally go out and do that all day today you can walk around you can find beautiful women like that walking by you can walk up to coffee shops you can walk into cafes and you can just have little moments 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds a minute two minutes five minutes and as you get better at just enjoying people naturally and truly letting them in and i've got videos on that the vulnerability walks and heart walks that's when people will start leaning into you. Now, the natural thing that happens when you get good at that is that they start seducing you kind of in a sense. Like when you're doing a really good job of it as a man and you're creating this masculine space because the masculine is the channeling element like a riverbank versus the water. You know, you got the riverbank, you got the water. The masculine element is the riverbank or the tree trunk versus the branches. The tree trunk is the stable part. And I rest in the stabilizing part of my body, like my back, for example, my the backs of my legs. And I get into the masculine parts of my body, the structure part, and I relax and open my heart, open my stomach, and I create space for her to come forward. That's when, when they get let in, and that's a whole nother video. But when they get let in and they begin to feel that connection from you creating space for them to come forward, they begin to seduce you. I personally think with the real art of it, it's not you chasing them. You start the interaction physically. You take the physical steps to start the interaction. And if you do a really good job of letting them in and enjoying them, they start seducing you through subcommunication, through inference, through tossing their hair, through leaning in, through bending over a certain way. And they literally start moving it forward. And that's what I want to create. I want to create this space for them, container, you know, like a frame for an art, for art to do its dance. And that's the feminine. The feminine is the art doing its dance. And if you trigger that and you get really good at triggering that in a woman, she will start dancing for you because you're the witness. You're the witnessing consciousness, witnessing the beauty express itself. And she'll start wanting to move and, and back lead and and play and I've just noticed it since we've been out here so much more apparent than ever before that that's just what naturally happens and they get nervous they get giddy they have something to play with because most guys honestly are just leaning in way too much leaning in way too much yeah that doesn't mean you don't approach or you don't start the conversation but approaching does not mean you have to lean in and be like hi What's your name? Oh, where are you from? Tell me more. And trying to use all these techniques on her. You know? I think when you're doing your job really well, you're saying way less, 
you're more still, you're more calm, you're more centered, you're more, you can violate this stuff and get away with it. You know, as a man, you can be more hyper and get away with it. But the truth is, is when you learn to relax and just enjoy the human being in front of you and be the witnessing consciousness, which is what masculinity really is, you can quickly trigger femininity in a woman. And that can cause them to start getting attracted to you very fast. So think about that for a minute. You know, you're as masculinity, if you want to bring femininity out of a woman, you don't want to compete with that femininity. You want to create space for it. Like a picture frame creates space for art. Like the tree trunk creates space for the tree. Right back here, right? So the branches can express themselves. Like the river banks create space for the river. Right? And then you enjoy the ride. And when she starts dancing, moving and flowing off of up here, off of you, you just create that, that stable space for her to do it and you enjoy it, you witness it. A different kind of analogy would be the wave rising and you're the surfer riding the wave and you're enjoying every bit of the rise and fall of that wave. That's that emotion, that feeling coming from a woman, the dance of a woman and you're just, I'm gonna take it all in and enjoy it. So when you get really good at that, then you'll just create these dances and the dances will naturally move themselves forward. And that's what I'm talking about. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I do want you to comment about this. Let me know what you think. It's, uh, it's an interesting idea. You can go out right now. I'm going to have 10 seconds, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minute dates all day today, you know, and just start conversations flow. I don't care if it's a barista or a girl on the street and strangers too. I'm going to have moments with other guys and say hi to them. Hey, what's up? People, I'm women. I'm not attracted to. I'll just be like, I'm just going to start. There's no women right now I'm attracted to. So I'm going to start three or four conversations and practice opening my heart and grounding people and making them smile until one comes along. Cause that's just more practice for you. Um, I'm going to practice going out. I remember early on, I would, when I didn't know what I was doing at all, I would go out with anybody and everybody. Women I kind of like, didn't like. I remember when I went out with this one girl, she was hot, but she was a bitch. And I knew I wasn't going to date her, date her because she was rude and mean and racist and sex. <laughs> she was everything, right? But I thought, can I open my heart and really enjoy being out with this woman and create space and just have fun anyways? That was my goal that night. I was like, I'm, I could end this date early. It was, it, was a, it was a tender date. I said, no, I'm going to see how far, how much I can enjoy this evening while she's being all this stuff that I don't appreciate instead of letting her go. I remember going out with women that I thought were cute and I knew I wasn't, didn't want to take it anywhere, but I just wanted to practice being open and enjoying them. And so this theme keeps coming back. Can you enjoy the human being in front of you? Can you relax? and just open your heart and not worry about the future and enjoy this moment right now and let the future take care of itself because it will. If you have a really, by law of attraction, right? Law of vibration. If you have a really good moment, it's gonna want to expand itself. It's gonna wanna progress. She's gonna want another one. If you're meeting, if you're making guy friends, like buddies, like, you know, they're gonna wanna, hey, let's hang out again, man, you're cool. That's going to be the natural progression of the whole thing. But if you get needy, you get into wanting, you get into chasing, you get into trying to figure out how to impress, it's all going to fall apart. So hopefully you're getting this idea. I'm thinking about doing another video on the seducers, the old seducers like Elvis and when he would pop his turn on into his smile and it would just come through in his voice and his smile and break that down on James Dean and Robert Redford and Marlon Brando. I got footage of all of them. It's really good. So if you want to see that, let me know. Um, um, it was awesome. I'm glad the workshops are over. I love doing them. I learn a lot from every single one of them. But now I'm going to relax and Romania for a bit, have some fun. Enjoy all the people I've met the last few weeks. Go out, have a great time. And uh, remember, only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a beautiful day.